Hi. Um, I know the introduction you know, was limited in space, but I'm curious about William's reception in Spanish during this period. I know that he was published in Origenes in Cuba in 44, uh, but I don't know anything else about uh, um, translation into Spanish during his lifetime. I don't know if you know. Williams was very uh, well received in Spanish America. And my friend Ernesto Cardinal, the great poet from Nicaragua, also published a chapbook of, uh, of Williams' poems around uh, 1951. Uh -huh. And these uh, poems were very well received and clearly had an influence on among the uh, developing uh, writers at that time. But somebody with uh, greater, um, uh, more information could give you a, a greater answer. Does his house still exist in Rutherford? Yes, it does. And what's interesting is that um, it's owned by a physician who also practices out of the house, as he did. It's right there, Nine Ridge Road. You could drive there in about a half hour from here. There is a film of I don't recall the date, I guess in 1920, uh, with Paul Strand, which is, is called Manhattan, in which the, the appears a poem by William Carlos William. Do you know if that was a commission or it just Paul Strand just picked it up for the documentary? I'm, I'm sorry, I don't, I'm not, I don't know anything about it. This one, and actually now, I think they are showing that short film at the Metropolitan Museum in conjunction with the exhibit of Stiglitz. And it sounds very interesting. Thank you for telling me. A uh, couple of... Uh Pound points. I think you said earlier that St. Elizabeth is in New Jersey. Actually, it's in Washington, D.C. Thank you. Uh, the other thing that, that, that I found interesting is, is you, you, the uh, Spanish, uh, I don't remember his name, the professor at Rutgers. Vasquez Amaral. Uh, he was playing the role of Felonosa as the translator of uh, Pound's Cantos. He was trying to play the role for Spanish poetry that Felanosa, the Ernest Felanosa, had played uh, posthumously for the translation of Chinese poetry by Ezra Pound. Uh, that, that, that's quite fascinating. Uh, he, you know, Pound has a way of, of having people do this, as, as he had James Lachlan begin uh, New Directions. He also uh, probably got him to uh, at least inspired the idea of trying to be felonosa for Spanish. Uh, fascinating idea. I'm, I'm very well, certainly impressed as by this. Uh, Pound was a, 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 you know, as you know, uh, was a majored in Romance languages. Uh, even though he thought that Spanish was rather déclassé, um, he had a certain respect for it too. <laughs> 